why your local indie shop is much better than your big box and why it's not. Hey, I'm Baxter. I'm Jonathan. Here at Casino Guitars, we're going to talk about the deep diving of independence versus the big boys once more. <gasps> it's, well, it's been sort of a hot topic we've seen on the internets as well. Oh, yeah. A little bit like, you For know, because sure. I, I get both sides. But we've had so many good yeah. experiences lately with some great customers and some great things. I was like, why? We need to talk about that. Plus, our shortfalls. Nope. Where we fail. Ouch. And where the big boys, such as a Sweetwater or Sweetwater, succeed and fail. Too. Yeah. Or GCs and all the other, like just the big ones. So this is a sort of a love letter and a hate letter to ourselves. <laughs> it's, kind of, it's kind of like being a teenage it's boy like, all over again. It's like being in therapy. <laughs> what are you, what's good about yourself? What's bad about yourself? <laughs> That's why I don't go to therapy. I think it's a waste of time for myself. I'd rather just be oblivious. I'm glad I learned to push my feelings down. Okay, so no, we work a lot with thick custom order guitars. Yes. But we also work a lot with the standard production lines. Right. Like from, you know, from Fender and PRS and Taylor and Martin and Gretsch and all these great manufacturers. All the ones. Now, I would say where we excel beyond anything, anybody, no, but these guys are great. We'll go there too, is in customer service. Yeah. It's um, our knowledge base. And these are for like your big indies, like that are, you know, that really dig deep into this stuff. We're talking about from the Wildwoods and Music Villas and all, all those guys and stuff too, but they know their gear. Right. We've been doing it for years. We love our gear. And we let's say you're doing a custom shot, like from the Fender yep. universe. We will probably take hours and hours to work on this one guitar with you from our side, not even with... I don't even think it's probably. I mean, I think that's just well, it could process. Be, it's, it's, it could it's, be multiple, multiple, multiple hours, but... um. Well, I have, I have records of, you know, I keep records of all our phone calls and I keep all of our emails, obviously, but I have some emails that are in the hundreds on one guitar. Yeah, I do too. You know, and then I have, which is, that's a little bit too much. Um, <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> that's just when we're going crazy. But like the phone call records, like, I mean, there might be like a, an exchange of 10 phone calls sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. So it's, that's that's a lot. Sometimes more, sometimes less, usually less. Yeah, I think just I to kind of to, to, to dial it in. But it's, it's a process that, A, it's fun. Yep. Because we enjoy it. Right. I hope you enjoy it too. If you're wanting to get something banged out fast, don't call us. Um, B, it's going to get you a better guitar at the end of the day. Yes. Uh, and C, it's fun again. <laughs> no, but no, it's... Go well, ahead. I, mean, I have two thoughts about that, right? Like, like, so when you're saying customer service, you're not, you don't even mean something goes wrong. Like, we're just talking about getting you a guitar... In the first place. Correct. Which is maybe a big difference in where the focus on that customer service is. Because, you know, Sweetwater is good if you have a problem. They're the best. They're, they're great. They're the best when you have a problem. That's one of their strengths. It's like, whereas an independent is not as good. That, like, we're right. pretty damn good. But it's on the front end is where I think we really excel. You know, I think that's where it's really... And, but the other thing about that, right, is we, like like... A big box that has everything under the sun from like every random little adapter to every piece of DJ gear to, you know, electric drums. Like, and this is probably true for most indies. We're much more specialized. So we do know a lot about the things we have. Well, we just do things I, we love. I and mean, we're not, we don't have enough brain, like bandwidth power to like bring on another brand half the time. Like, right. We've, we've talked to other manufacturers that want to come in. Like, we're just not smart enough to learn all your stuff, too. It's like, it's so, it's so we don't sometimes. It's not, it's not a question of just square footage and do we like the brand? It's like, can we actually facilitate both the manufacturer and the person who's going to buy the yep. guitar to the best of our abilities? So that's that's one. Yep. And we, we get this so many times from folks that are like, we wanted to order this one guitar, but this sh shop was really difficult. Or if you're doing like a custom shop experience, it's hard. But even backing away from that, I spent probably... You know, an hour to two hours, like working with someone over a Noventa right. the other day. And it's, you know, it's a $1,200 guitar, I think, right. or $1,100. And it was it was fun. I enjoyed it. And this is over the phones and internets. And like in store is a whole different thing. That's like, we'll spend hours just talking. It's really fun in trash, the store. You know? But it's, you know. If you can make it here, it's super fun. Yeah. If you can make it to any of your favorite shops that you've been looking at online, it stinks the ones that aren't open anymore. It does. That like to open to the public. Right. I'm like, why would you... 
I get it. I get it. I get. I get the math of it, and I get the other reasons, I guess. But oh, it's just it's a shame because it's oh, you know what I mean. There's something fun about going into a guitar shop. There's something fun about it, um, especially when you have those great interactions and those really great experiences. I guess the downside could be if there's a shop you think you like and you go and it's a, it's a let. It's happened to me before. Blah. Yes, <laughs> happened to us all probably. It happened to us all. Um, yeah. th- that's one of the things I think. Now, wh- now, where does a big box sort of win? Now, a lot of times they're going to win in getting the guitars before us. Yes. You know, like so there's a way that they're fed from the manufacturers. And like, you know, let's say Sweetwater, huge account, Guitar Center, huge account. And there's like a new release. Let's say the Paul Reed Smith DGTs. Let's say those, the, the, the SEs. They're, I mean, that, that one in particular, like, you know, we ordered them the same day as everybody else. All the Indies did. Absolutely. None of us have been delivered. Nope. You know, I haven't seen one. Not seen zero. Five, nine, fours. Pre-orders in. SEs. Pre-orders sold. Zero guitars. Sweetwater gets them. They get them first, and I, that's their bigger customer. I can respect it. Okay, here's another thing. I'm going to go back to us now, indies, how we how we win on this. And not all indies. I'm going to say casino guitars in particular. When we do a custom order, or even sometimes a non-customer, our deposits, our non-refundable deposits, are not the entire price of the guitar. No, I, I, a lot of times people are shocked when I tell them how low it actually is. Because it is a substantial chunk of money, but relative to the price of the guitar... It's it's really not. Um, and we're not even talking twenty percent most of the time. No, it's sort of it's 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 you know it's it's a non refundable deposit, which is what a deposit is. Is you are reserving that piece. You can't change your mind later. Hopefully that's understood by everyone out there that does deposits. Like when you put a deposit in your house, you're not getting the deposit back. And you know most of the time we're doing deposits on things that are totally customized to you. You know, like you pick the specs, so it makes it tricky. No, uh, so we don't have a high threshold for that, and, and then. Also, let's say like life changes a little bit and like, you know, this is still your guitar, but you can't pay for it right then and there when this guitar is delivered. It's okay. We're going to work we've with you. We've held stuff, people, right? We're, we're pretty. I've held, I've held a guitar for like, I don't know, a year. Well, people will say, you know, hey, what, what's your policy? What can we do? And I'm always like, well, we can, what do you need us to do? You're like, what can, what can we do? You like, know, we're um, guitar buyers too. We get it. And so that's where we live on that. You know, it's, it's a very, as long as there's communication and stuff, we, we, we want to get to know you as a person, as a player, and we understand like life comes at you fast sometimes and you got to make some moves. You know, if you if you customize like, you know, Johnny's play thing on the fretboard, that's yeah, definitely, probably, that's yours. That, that's going to be a higher deposit thing. But no, we, we, we're very careful about that. You know, we loved and considerate, I guess is the word. And a lot of other indie shops I know have that psychology too. Some don't. I mean, when I was a kid, our little, well, teenager, you know, um, our little local shop, not high end at all, but there were two guitars I, I just was in love with. I had no acoustic. These were separate points. And then at one point I wanted this, like, I look back at it and I don't know that it was a great guitar, but it was like a, one of those Niarman cool, Guild Starfire things. And, you know, I wanted those guitars and, and the dude knew I came in and played them and he let me bring him like probably a stupid amount of money a week like you know 15 bucks or something <laughs> guitar center's not ever doing that you no, know well, that, I mean and, and that's nice too like and, and that's not even our game as much I love that's why the indie shops are that's, so important still. that's what that's still I still a vivid memory for me for you like know? when you're like that young cat that can't afford much and this is a thing you don't need it's a thing you want and like there's a shop there's like you know Local Johnny that works there is gonna take care of you and let you pay it off slowly and get it covered there's no credit cards covering it it's just you, a handshake, and the dude behind the counter. And, and we get deep. burned on that sometimes. We do get burned. Occasionally, on that. that doesn't work out. That's the that's part of it though, because I'd rather have that that feeling of the shop still existing. And, right. And um, you know, it's the other thing that we were talking about too. Is like, I know it's a small thing, but you can actually play the guitars here. Yeah. <laughs> you can play that's any true. guitar here. That it, it it doesn't cease to amaze me. Like never ceases to amaze me. Um. Like, how many people come in here and like, wait, you can play every guitar here? I'm like, yeah, just grab anything off the wall or, or, we'll or go or get if it out. Reach it, it, we'll grab it for you. Know, or there's some that are packed away still. If you want to play it, we'll go get it out. <coughs> right. Be, you know, we'll, we'll do like the little assessment to make sure you're not wearing your, your chain bracelet and you got your, your skull and crossbone rings on, just, you know, your metal playing. studded spike bracelets <laughs> or whatever, you know. <laughs> oh, I, had, I did walk on with this kid who was two hand tapping with a loud one once. And I was like, oh, Lord. 
Just beaten. Oh, beaten he, it. Yeah, it did. It, it was not a good day for me. He didn't know what he did, but he did some things. You know, but that's ugh. somebody got a good deal on that guitar. That's all I'll say. Not him, because he just left and did that. But no, that's part of the experience of what indies can offer. And nothing's locked up. You know, it's it's pretty cool. It's it a pretty, pretty cool experience. Cool. It is nice. And and it's and you're gonna have the consistency of who you're talking with. Now, don't get me wrong. I love this. There's the pro to Sweetwater too. I like that they sign a rep to you. Yeah, that's I great. love that. And his follow through is amazing. And they do that better than anyone. If you buy a pack of strings, you're gonna get three emails and texts seeing how those strings are worked out for you. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Sometimes we don't do that. I mean, I will say for Sweetwater, I think some of what they're trying to capture is the the feeling, the experience of a local shop with that with that rep. You know what I mean? And that's smart. I, I've been telling you, I've Chuck is text text my guy Ed, and you know, hey, can you can you switch this thing? Oh yeah, absolutely. So they they do okay on that as well, but still not quite the same feeling about going into a place. Or just being able to pick up and talk yeah. to the, you know, you can talk to Johnny or I or Sean or yeah, Derek or that's true. James, the other strange folks that yeah. wander the hallways here looking for meaning in life. Um, no, it's it's a fun journey. And I, I think they all, both offer the pros and cons. And yes. Again, we don't get all the things fresh off the bat sometimes. Yes. We can't stock everything either. Like that's the complaint I'll see with some of the guys on the forums. Like, well, my local shop can't stock you know, all they stock are either, I saw this one, it sort of stuck with me. He's like, they either have guitars under $300 or guitars over $4,000. There's never that in between. You know, we're pretty passionate about having the entire line. And we do. We do. Not every yeah. shop can do that. We've been lucky enough and fortunate, knock on wood, to be able to afford that luxury. Yeah. But it is tough. Like, and we can't carry every brand. We can't carry, like I said earlier, we can't carry all the shredder stuff because we're not shredders. Right. And we don't know about it that well. We don't carry all like this. We don't carry drums or any of the keyboards or any of that stuff. That's we can't carry every skew of string and pick. And like that's where the big box just dominates. And there's a place for it. And I like that too. Well, sure. And I mean, obviously, that stuff sometimes is less expensive because they buy so much of it. The strings um, are used as a customer acquisition tool sometimes, right. where they, it's often sold at a loss when you factor in shipping, just as to sort of acquire. It. And like that's pretty cool. So like use that. If you want to support your local businesses and your local communities, you know, buy strings from them. It's nicer. It is going to cost you a couple bucks more. But I mean, well, I mean, I am start. I am seeing more and more and more. They're not cheaper though, <laughs> online. You know yeah. what I mean? They're they're almost like map on strings. You know, well, I saw that with same. Sweetwater in particular. In general, I had a guy come in. He's like, these twelve string elixirs can't cost that much. I'm like, let me pull it up on Sweetwater because it wasn't buying from us. He was buying from a local store, and he just wanted yeah. to know. And I was like, yeah, that's how much they are. I think they, they're like. They, they, turns out they do. Yeah. They are like twenty five dollars for. a I th I would thought that was, wasn't that expensive at all. I think it's yeah, it's twenty five was at Sweetwater, and I think his local shop was like twenty eight ninety nine. I was like, man, just support the guy, give him the four dollars. You don't have to that, wait; it's there right now. I was like, he's not, he's not making a killing on this. But anyway, yeah, no, it's not his <laughs> his scheme to get rich an extra <laughs> dollar per pack of strings. No, that's his margin spread. He has to he has to do that to pay the, light, the utility bills or whatever. Ten, it is. 10 million packs later, he's going to be rolling, rolling in those strings. That would be awesome. So all he did was sell elixirs online. Um, there's so many more, but I just want to start the conversation a little bit. Yeah. And like, see what you love about, A, your independent shops. See what you don't like about your independence. And that can be us included. See what you love about your big box and see what you don't like what about you don't your like. big box. Yeah. Because you know, we know there's some big changes coming with GC soon. Stay tuned for all that. Big changes on the horizon. And um, we're we're wishing the best for Sweetwater still too with the, you know private equity jumping in. We think still they're still plodding along pretty well. Been, been they, pretty, they didn't change the thing. So far. And I met a guy the other day who came in. He was so he was so nice. I'm not gonna say his name, but he's like, "You're gonna hate what I do." I'm like, "What do you do?" He's like, "I'm in private equity." I'm like, "I do hate what you do." <laughs> he was really nice. He's like, "No, they they do for good." I'm like, get out, sir. Yeah. You get yourself out of here with your brown bag on lunchbox I, that doesn't make any sense what I'm saying but yeah. no he was really nice and we sort of talked about private equity how it does have some positives sometimes so hopefully the team that bought into Chuck <laughs> listens to that and heeds it and is not just the money pump and grind that those three groups that have been involved with GC have been doing for the past god decade or whatever it's been yeah it's not working 
What do you mean, Baxter? It's not been going well. It's great. Things are going great. Ugh. New stores opening all the time. Except for the yeah, the the money laundering system from overseas, but that's a whole other thing. I'm gonna leave you with that drop drop water. It's like watching the season of you. Gotta have clean money. Clean mm. money. I'm out of here. Thank you again. Click like, subscribe, hit the old bell. Peace be with you all. And to all a good night. <laughs>